First Greek Myths Odysseus and the Wooden Horse Long ago in Greece, there was a beautiful queen called Helen. She lived in a huge palace with maids to look after her and a king to adore her. She should have been happy and content, but she wasn't. She fell in love with the handsome Paris, a prince from the city of Troy, and ran away with him. The king sent a great army to bring Helen back. Led by the brave Odysseus, the soldiers surrounded the city of Troy, but try as they might, they could not capture it. After nine long years of fighting, the soldiers wanted to go home, but Odysseus wanted to try just one more time to enter the city, and he had a plan. He called together his generals. Slowly, he opened a scroll and laid it out in front of them to see. A wooden horse on wheels, bellowed an old general. Are you mad? How will that help us beat the Trojans? Look closely, said Odysseus, and you will see that it is a giant hollow horse. There is enough space inside it for 50 soldiers. Odysseus lowered his voice. I will hide inside the horse with my best soldiers, he whispered. Then when the Trojans become curious and take the horse into the city, we can capture Queen Helen. It's risky, said the general. But all the other men knew that Odysseus's plans usually worked. Well, it's worth a try, I suppose, said the general. Start building it behind that hill so the Trojans can't see you. In a week, the giant horse was ready. When it got dark, Odysseus chose 50 of his bravest men and they all hid inside the horse. The other soldiers wheeled it to the gates of Troy. All through the night, no one inside the horse dared to move in case they made a noise. At last, a cock crowed. It was morning. Just outside, Odysseus could hear the Trojans talking. Look, the Greeks have left. They have given up on capturing Queen Helen and gone home. Then someone said, But they've left a giant wooden horse behind. Quick, bring it into the city, someone shouted. Then we can have a closer look at it. No, called someone else. It could be a trick. Push it over the cliffs into the sea. Odysseus and his men held their breath and tried to keep calm. The wooden horse started to move. The Trojans were pulling it along on its wheels. But which way was it going? Into the city or over the cliff? Odysseus knew how scared his men were, but he didn't dare say anything to make them feel better in case the Trojans heard him. At last, the horse stopped moving. Odysseus and his men could hear music and singing. The Trojans were celebrating their victory over the Greeks. For hours, the beating of drums echoed. Then gradually, the noise stopped and everything went quiet. Are we in the city or on the cliffs? whispered one of Odysseus's soldiers. Carefully, Odysseus opened the trap door in the horse's tummy and peered out. He saw a few young men lying fast asleep on the paved ground with wine cups in their hands. We're in the city, he whispered. Follow me. One by one, the soldiers climbed down a ladder to the ground. They followed Odysseus through the narrow streets of the city. Here and there, people lay snoring in doorways. The Trojans had celebrated until they were so tired they fell asleep. We have to open the city gates and let in the rest of our soldiers, said Odysseus. Quietly, the Greek men made their way through the streets with their swords. At last, they saw the city gates up ahead. They also saw that one Trojan soldier was still on guard. He will raise the alarm if he sees us, one of the men said to Odysseus. But as they drew closer and closer to the gates, they could see that the soldier was fast asleep at his post. Odysseus nodded to his men and they removed the huge wooden plank that held the gates shut. 
The gates made a very loud creak. The guard began to stir. The Greek soldiers looked at each other. Was he about to wake up? But no, the guard simply changed his position and continued to snore. Slowly, the great gates of Troy swung open. Thousands of Greek soldiers poured into the city. They had captured Troy at last. Queen Helen was taken back to Greece. In time, the king forgave her, and Odysseus was remembered as a hero forever.